In this video, we will show you how to install a Blue Diamond Maxi Blue condensate pump on a Mitsubishi Electric M Series floor mounted indoor unit. You will need the following parts and tools Maxi Blue condensate pump, alarm extension cable, field supplied condensate tubing or piping, field supplied 14 gauge wires, wire cutters, wire strippers, wire nuts. Let's get started by removing the front panel assembly. First, open the front cabinet door, which is used to access the filter. Behind the cabinet, you will find screws that hold the front panel in place. After removing the screws, simply pull the panel assembly to remove. Next, prepare the pump's reservoir. This reservoir has two inlet and outlet ports. In this video, we are going to install the reservoir behind the indoor unit's drain pan. To do that, we will need to place the factory supplied plugs to cover the inlet and outlet plugs that are on the top of the reservoir. Also, install the factory provided vent tube to the top of the reservoir. Next, connect the indoor unit's factory provided drain hose with the provided drain adapter. Now you can connect the reservoir to the factory provided drain hose located behind the unit. Make sure the reservoir is oriented in an upright position. If the reservoir is installed upside down or on its side, the pump's alarm will trip immediately after powering up. Next, let's review the connections between the reservoir and the pump. Connect the field supplied condensate tubing to the inlet port of the condensate pump. Run the condensate tubing to the reservoir and connect to the outlet port of the reservoir. Please refer to the pump's installation manual for the specifications on how far you can run the tubing between the pump and the reservoir. Now for the electrical connection between the reservoir and the pump. You will need to run the provided wire from the reservoir to the pump and connect. This is how the reservoir communicates with the pump. Next, connect the alarm wire extender. Simply connect the wire extender ends to its corresponding color wire. Now run both the alarm wires and power wires from the pump to the indoor units S1 S2 and S3 terminal blocks on the front of the indoor unit. As seen in the wiring diagram, in order to wire the alarm, you're going to have to break the S1 wire. That simply means the S1 voltage will have to go through the pump in order to power up the indoor unit. Here, you can see the field supplied S1, S2, and S3 wires along with the ground. In this demonstration, the S1 wire is black the S2 wire is orange, the S3 is red, and the ground wire is blue. On the pump, there are two separate sets of wires. The wires in the gray jacket have the black and yellow alarm wires. The set of wires in the black jacket are the power wires. The color of these wires are black, white, and green. The alarm wires will be breaking voltage going to the indoor unit coming from the outdoor unit. This is how you will know when there is a drain problem. In order for the pump to get voltage during alarm, you will have to wire net the S1 wire coming from the outdoor unit along with the black common wire from the pump's alarm circuit and the black line voltage wire powering up the pump. Next, 
Terminate the yellow, normally closed alarm wire from the pump to the S1 terminal of the indoor unit. For the S2 terminal, you need to terminate both the white line voltage wire powering up the pump and the S2 wire coming from the outdoor unit. For the S3 terminal, you will simply connect the S3 wire coming from the outdoor unit. We strongly recommend not breaking the S3 wire. Finally, please make sure the ground wires for the pump and the equipment are properly grounded to the factory provided ground terminal screw. For additional information, please feel free to visit our website at www.mylinkdrive.com. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for future episodes of Tech Tips.